A multi-part fixture is defined as any light that has multiple of the same type of parameters, meaning that uh, some of the most common ones we see out there are perhaps a light that is an LED strip or wash light with multiple cells that can be controlled individually, maybe a small moving head that has two independent heads that can light and move but have some channels that are shared as well, or perhaps a fully pixel mapped light. Whatever kind of light you're using inside of the light shark, the multi-part fixtures are under development and will be available in a future release. Until that time, here's a way to be able to use your multi-part fixtures as one within the light shark. We're going to head to our fixture editor, so to patch and then fixture editor, and I'm gonna create a new fixture from scratch. The first thing we need to do before we define any channels is we need to think about how to break the fixture up. What I like to do is think about having the independent elements of the fixture and then also having a master element if there are any control channels. Often, we'll see with lights like these that they may have a handful of channels at the beginning to offer control and master control over that light whether that be the master intensity, some macros, etc., And then they're often broken up into smaller cell fixtures for each independent LED or head. And so to do this in the light shark, because we don't have multi-part fixtures yet, we simply want to create one fixture that might have three channels and be the master. This fixture would have controls like the intensity and then maybe some macros or something like that. We'll go and create that fixture, and if you don't know how to do that, then check out the video that we have on creating fixtures with the fixture editor. And then, once we've created our master, we'll go ahead and create the part fixtures. Now, say for example, it's a fixture that has just some RGB cells. Well, then we could actually patch that as the manufacturer generic and the fixture RGB that's already in the fixture library. But if there are other channels or you want to custom name the fixture, you can certainly go ahead and create a fixture called the part fixture. Maybe this one has four channels. Maybe this one has, just as an example, red, green, blue, And then maybe the last channel is a lime channel or a gobo. Whatever it is, we can plug these in, build this as our part fixture, and then when we're going to patch our light, all you've got to do is patch one of the master fixture and then as many of the parts as you need. Once you've done that, you're able to control them independently, treating each cell or each head of the light as an individual fixture. For now, this is a great way to get control of multiple cells of fixtures and be on the lookout for the software update that will be able to control these multi-part fixtures at a later date. Thanks so much for watching and be sure to subscribe.